This is an example of a normal chicken egg, but the other day a chicken of mine laid an egg like this. And it was so curious and fascinatingly weird. And I went on a deep dive trying to understand what is the best source of calcium to fix this problem. It's pretty well known that calcium is really, really important in a chicken's diet in order for them to form the best kind of eggshell. But are all calcium sources equal? Which one will stay in the digestive tract the longest? Do I need to add in other things to her diet in order to make it more bioavailable? Just like vitamin D is added into our milk to help that calcium be more readily absorbed for humans, there are things that you should add along with calcium to make the calcium absorb the best in the chicken's diet. I learned so much from this deep dive into calcium and I hope that you learn a lot too. The most common advice I see on Facebook groups is to crush up these eggshells and feed them back to your chickens. You can bake them and then pulverize them into a powder and then simply add it into their feed. And you absolutely can do that because there is calcium in here, but there are better sources of calcium out there that stay in the chicken's digestive tract longest. You could also try limestone. Limestone does have calcium in it. Limestone being a rock that's pulverized into small bits also can help your chicken digest their food. They don't have teeth like we do and so they require grit in order to like break up the food inside their stomach. But the best source of calcium out there is actually oyster shells. Oyster shells is dual purpose because it like I just said it helps them to break up the food that's in their digestive tract but it also is the best source of calcium because it is retained in the digestive tract the longest. Studies have been done to see which calcium is absorbed the best and the slowest giving them the most time to be absorbed in the um, inside the chicken and it is oyster shells. Oyster shells like these can be added into your chicken's diet when they're about 18 weeks old because that's when they should start laying eggs. Some chickens lay later, don't worry, you're not doing anything wrong, it's just the breed. But when they're 18 weeks old, it's a good time to start adding in oyster shells. While I was learning about how to fix this eggshell problem, I learned the importance of calcium in all other aspects of a chicken's health. Did you know that calcium is also vital for hormone production, for a strong chick development inside the egg, and that it also prevents bone degeneration and egg binding? Egg binding is super scary and it's often fatal. And one thing that can help prevent that is to keep their muscles nice and toned with enough calcium in order for them to spasm correctly. So just like we rely on our muscles to help with digestion and elimination, they rely on that muscle spasm to help them lay their egg. And so with enough calcium in their diet, you will eliminate a lot of the possibility of them becoming egg bound. What's kind of fascinating is all that we have in common with chickens. We need calcium for our bones and so do chickens. Chickens will store calcium in their bones in something called the medullary cavity. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm not sure. And then when egg production time comes or when they need it in other parts of their body, it will come out of their bones. And if they don't have enough in their system, then they are susceptible to osteoporosis, just like us. But calcium isn't enough. Do you know what calcium loves? It loves phosphorus. And so then I was like, well, let's study all the forms of phosphorus and see which one is the best. And I learned a lot there too. Now what I learned is that the interrupting rooster, the best sources of phosphorus for your animals will be fish, lentils, and black soldier fly larva. Now I'm not going to be feeding my animals salmon. <laughs> they sometimes eat better than I do, but I would like to not make it a regular thing. And lentils are really fun because they're so incredibly cheap. You can sprout them in a little mason jar at home for so for pennies, for pennies, 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 you could be adding phosphorus into their diet. But what I really love is how much phosphorus there are in black soldier fly larvae. What's also great about them is the amazing amount of protein that they have in them and your chickens need protein too. And even though lentils are a good source of phosphorus, some grains just simply don't have enough phosphorus in them. So consider adding grains, but also some black soldier fly larvae or mealworms to them. The black soldier fly larvae are kind of a triple threat because calcium loves phosphorus, but you know what calcium and phosphorus love? They love vitamin D3. And guess what is in black soldier fly larvae? You guess it vitamin D3. Now I want to take a minute to add in here that normally your 16% layer feed is going to be a well-rounded feed and it should be enough for them. But let's all face it, if you're raising chickens, you know how fun it is to spoil them and make these like gourmet meals for them. So I have a list of some other things that you can add in to help with the calcium, the phosphorus, and the vitamin D3. Everybody knows that chickens love sunflower seeds, but when you sprout sunflower seeds and you create microgreens, the nutrients that comes into that one little change from a seed to 
a sprout is just astronomical. So try sprouting them similar to how you would in a mason jar with your lentils or your chia seeds or whatever else you might be sprouting. One thing that I like to do is to not waste any part of those rotisserie chickens. And I know this sounds like super grim, but I don't always get every little piece of meat off of those. And when I give meat to my chickens, they really love it and they don't seem to care that they are cannibals. Another great source of phosphorus for your chickens is broccoli, but let's amp that up a little bit and just like with the sunflower seeds where the nutrients just explode when they're sprouted, try sprouting some broccoli seeds. So any of your sprouted lentils and seeds and beans are just going to be an amazing pack of macronutrients that your chickens are going to very much appreciate. If you're worried that your chickens also need some probiotics, try some yogurt. Of course, not the super sweet stuff, but just regular plain yogurt from the grocery store because it's also high in vitamin D3. And so all of those nutrients combined are going to make your chickens happier and healthier. It might be tempting to throw an egg with its eggshell into their coop and let them just eat the eat the contents, but I highly suggest if you're going to feed eggs back to your chickens, scramble them first because you don't want them to get used to the taste of a raw egg and for them to realize that they can eat their own eggs means that you're going to be losing your eggs every time they lay them. So if you're going to feed eggs back to your chickens, always cook them first. I get everything I need for my birds from Tractor Supply Company, but I know that that's not available to some of you living in other parts of the country. If you're looking for an online resource, I really love Grubbly Farm. They have everything from black soldier fly larvae to a million kinds of chicken food. They also have um, any kind of medicine that you may need for your flock. One thing that came to mind was how expensive it is to feed our chickens in this way. The 16% layer feed is a well-rounded food. I would recommend it, but it is fun to give them a gourmet treat every once in a while. Also, I would say that most chicken tenders are not raising chickens in order to save money. It can save money in a lot of ways. But for the most part, we're doing it because we want to know where our food is coming from and we want to know who is, uh, how they're being fed. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in for today's science lesson on chickens. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video.